faith. Uh, that's one example. Are well, the websites the websites that people make? Sure. There are some voice actors, people in the industry, who, for whatever reason, maybe their you know maybe their choices and their lifestyle or or wherever they are in their lives, they feel like it's necessary to try to undermine me. They make fun of me at at panels and conventions, and they actually actively seek to try to keep me from being invited to conventions. There are voice actors in the industry who actively seek to keep me, even though I'm one of the most requested guests at different conventions, they do everything they can to keep me from being invited as a guest because they don't like my faith and the stand that I take on my faith. In other words, they completely discount and ignore all of the kids that actually pay the bills, you know what I mean? All of the attendees who actually pay to put the convention on because they personally are offended or threatened or don't like the fact that I take some kind of a stand. Uh, Wait, there so, are some uh, – sorry? sorry sorry to interrupt you here. I, I just wanted to say – so you're saying that there are voice actors who specifically – there are voice actors out there who specifically – try and get conventions to disinvite or not invite you because you're an outspoken Christian. Absolutely correct. Unequivocally correct. Wow. Okay. I'm not going to name their names, sure. but but they there are absolutely without question, I know it for a fact. A documented fact. Well, now you know what's really sad about that you guys? That's the most childish, unprofessional thing I've ever seen in my life. You don't behave like that when you're a professional. Oh, For instance, it's exactly. Weird. Thank it's you, stupid. Justin. Yeah. Exactly. You Every one of them, with the exception of Sean Schimmel, who has always publicly expressed his hatred for me. And he told me himself at the Broly premiere that it was because uh, of my openness about my faith, that he didn't think I should be sharing my faith with fans. Well, let me just be blunt. Yeah. To the, to, uh, to the other side, <laughs> guys, I, I know, I know all of you. I've been around you. I've heard you talk about Vic when he wasn't in the room. You know, I didn't comment. I didn't say anything. So I know what you said. So don't act like you didn't say it, that you didn't like Vic. You didn't like Vic because he was uh, uh, very good at self-promoting. And then he was more popular than uh, than you. Is is that what you think it boils down to? Um, yeah, it's, je to it's, it's jealousy. studio saw him as somebody who they could attach his name to a project and it would make more money. Um, for example, there's a show called Subasa Reservoir Chronicles and I'm one of the leads and my name does not appear on the box, but Vic Mignogna's name does. Oh God, you can't even sell a movie. No even one cares who you are. Sorry, I missed that. I, I talked does about not that. appear on the box, Rude. but Vic Mignogna's name does. even though I'm the lead character. 